Good morning, guys. So this week, we're going to do something a little bit different for fluency. This week, our story of the week after the fall is based on the nursery rhyme, um, Humpty Dumpty. So what we're going to do is we're going to practice some nursery rhymes just for fluency. A lot of the rhymes you probably already know, but we're going to go through them on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then on Thursday, we're going to do a little sorting activity where you have to figure out which nursery rhyme I'm talking about from some clues. So our first nursery rhyme that we have is Little Bo Peep. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to kind of go through the first time and underline our sight words just so we know where our sight words are. Are you ready? So we've got little, has, her, and, know, where, to, find, and them. So those are all sight words. Them, and, come, home. And then there, behind, and them. So if you're reading all our sight words on list A and B, those are all words you already know. We don't have to try to sound them out. All right, now that we found all of our sight words in the first little part of our nursery rhyme, let's go ahead and move down to the bottom. Little she for her, but didn't know how to find them. Very good. She, look, this first part is a sight word. I see looked, and then I know I just can add that ed and say looked, looked. Everywhere from here and to there. All sight words in that line, but think where to find them. So we have lots of sight words in this nursery rhyme. Let's look at our next part. So two, oh, I almost forgot little. And do you see any other ones? Down, two, four, a. Very good. Then she, any other ones? Her, then, they, came, very good, home, with, a, good job. And then we have little, had, and, that, she, was, all. So lots of sight words in that line. But when she, good job, and back her, she, that, her, had, come, home. Very good. So there are lots of sight words in this nursery rhyme. Let's try our last little part. Little had her and know where to find them. She, them, and they home. Their, them. Good job. So those are all our sight words that we had. Now we're just going to kind of go through it. Are you ready? So I'm going to read it one time, and then we're going to go back, and I'm going to point at the words and read it together, okay? So let's see if you can remember part of it. It says, Little Bo Peep. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep. We know it's sheep because it's got that E-E -E in the middle. And doesn't know where to find them. That's that E-A. Eve, leave them alone, and they'll come home, wagging their tails behind them. Very good. Little Bo Peep, she, ooh, this is a tricky one, urt, 
searched, searched for her sheep, but didn't quite know how to find them. She looked, like, look, this is two different sight words, everywhere from here and to there, but still couldn't think where to find them. Little Bo Peep. Let's try this one. You know what B-E is. B -g -an. G-A-N. to weep. Very good. And lay down to rest for a while. She fell fast asleep while counting her sheep, then dreamt they came home with a smile. Little Bo Peep had fallen asleep and dreamt that she was all alone. But when she awoke, she pulled back her, ooh, this is tricky, it's got an O-A. That O-A is that long O sound, so cl oak, cloak. She saw that her sheep had come home. Little Bo Peep had lost her sheep and didn't know where to find them. She left them alone, and they came home, wagging their tails behind them. Very good. All right, before we record, I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the next little poem, and our next poem is much shorter, okay? And this one you might just know too. It's Little Miss, Miss, Remember, we're going to break this word in half. Muffet. Muffet. So, little Miss Muffet sat on a. Look, it's the same word as Muffet. I just changed the m to a t. Tuffet. Very good. Eating her curds, curds and whey. Along came a. What do you think? Remember, it's going to be a long I because that D-E-R goes together. So, spider. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Let's read that one one more time and then we're going to go through both of them. Ready? Little Miss Muffet. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Very good. So once I've gone through, I'm going to go back up and we're going to hit the recording so we can read it together to show how we can read it. Are you ready? Let me get my pointer ready so we know exactly where we're at. And on this one, I need to zoom in a little bit so we can see the words a little better. Are you ready? So here we go. Little Bo Peep. See if you can read it with me this time. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, wagging their tails behind them. Little Bo Peep, she searched for her sheep but didn't quite know how to find them. She looked everywhere from here to there and still couldn't think where to find them. Let me move it down a little bit so you can see. Little Bo Peep began to weep and lay down to rest for a while. She fell fast asleep while counting her sheep. Then dreamt they came home with a smile. Little Bo Peep had fallen asleep and dreamt that she was all alone. But when she awoke and pulled back her cloak, she saw that her sheep had come home. Little Bo Peep had lost her sheep and didn't know where to find them. She left them alone, and they came home, wagging their tails behind them. Very good. Then I'm going to go over and hit the second slide. And remember, this next one's a lot faster. Little Miss Muffet. 
Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Very good. Then remember, what do I hit? I'm going to hit my done button and then you can see that there's my play button so I know exactly where to um where to hit so I can listen to where what you guys have read okay all right I am so excited to hear you guys read your nursery rhymes remember some of you guys might already know these nursery rhymes and so you can read right through them and if you can't that's okay remember we try to pick out as many words as we can and then we can start to hear that rhythm where we can pick up more and more words with them okay all right, you guys have done an awesome job. Thank you.